triangle defense is Defenses. Um, again, there's different stages to this. We'll look tonight at our preliminary defense. You can do it from inside the guard when he when he's trying to shoulder jump and get to the triangle position. We'll look at um, a threatened triangle where he actually has um, his ankles crossed on your shoulder. And then next week we'll look at a, a fully locked triangle. Okay? But just going over some basics that we should be doing from inside the closed guard. Okay? So again, you know, I want my back straight. I never want to be down here. This is what Carl wants me. And again, my primary arm is going to have a grip on the lapels. So this isn't to stop um, Carl pulling me forward with his knees. What stops um, me getting brought down is I'm engaging my hips or pelvis. I'm doing this movement here. I don't want to. I don't want to start using my hand. If Carl pulls with his knee. I don't want to be using my hand um, to stop myself from falling because this is when he's going to set up his submissions and stuff. Again, this is difficult at the start if you're not used to this, which is why I want to spend a little bit of time on it. So, so if you haven't done this before, I'm not going to use any hands. And Carl's going to pull with his knees, and I'm engaging my hip. That's all I'm doing there. Okay, raising my hips up, but the minute he stops pulling, my hips come back down. Again. Does that make sense? So my primary arm is here. Say Carl was trying to set up to go for a hip bump sweep. I'm just going to move it towards the shoulder that's actually coming up. Okay, so it might be in the middle of preliminary floating, but if this shoulder's coming up this side, I'm going to move it this way. My secondary arm, the important arm, I'm just going to put it on the inside of the hip and I keep my elbow inside. So again, anytime the car is trying to break my posture, I'm just going to the hip. Okay. You might think then you're giving your, your partner an open elbow here because you have this arm out straight. It feels you're going to get arm barred. The car needs two things to get the arm bar. Three things I was He needs to obviously break my posture, so he'd be stripping that grip and then pulling forward with his knees. The second thing he needs is angle, so when he actually does that, he'll cut an angle. The third thing he does, this leg, this is the important leg. Everyone thinks the arm bar, it's this leg, it's this one. This one needs to occupy the space somewhere between my arm and my hip, but preferably up here. So, from here, any time Carl tries to actually get into that arm bar position, breaks me down. Doing my secondary arm is controlling that space. So again, when he, when he comes under with that cross grip and he breaks that grip and starts to pull me down, two things I'm doing. I keep my secondary arm in here and when he cuts that angle, I just fall. If he cuts the angle by putting his foot in my hip, that's usually when he can pass. So, Because I'm doing that, I'm vulnerable to the shoulder jump. So the second he shoulder jumps, 